All right, are we good? All right, are we good to go? Uh, I think we're good to go. Hold on. Yeah, we're pretty good to go as far as I know. All right, what's going on, America? This is former President George W. Bush, 43rd elected president of the United States. And I was com- I'm was i coming out here with my friend's uh, little little uh, setup he's got here in his, in his house. I'm down here in San Antonio. That's in Texas, home of the Alamo where hundreds of people died to, to, to fight for their independence or their, their independent rights. But I'm out here for another reason. I'm out here because uh, I wanted to do a few things. See, the thing is, uh, as an as a elected leader, when I was, see, you have to understand something. When I was in the White House, I was able to come out any time of day. I could come out in my bathrobe every morning. I'd come out in my bathrobe, come out and say, hey, everybody, I understand there's something horrible going on today, but don't worry because we got it under control. Now I'm not I'm obviously not able to do that anymore. We got another guy in there. Oddly enough, he's a guy I voted for. <laughs> anyway, so uh anyway, I'm coming out here because I wanted to say a few things. I know that there's a lot of trouble going on in our country. And I wanted to come out here I wanted to come out here and just maybe hit on a few things, tell people what I think about them. Cuz if there's one thing I know that people want to know about me, what they want to know what I think about contemporary issues. That's that's why I'm coming out here. MC MC V Dub number forty three. Actually, I'm just kidding. I'm not a big fan of V Dub, but uh, you know, I thought that sounded kind of funny. How about this MCW forty three? <laughs> yeah, I'm coming out here. I'm gonna entertain y'all, but I'm gonna be informative as well. So let's start by having some of the major issues going on in our country. I just I just want to start by saying first off that I heard about this tragedy in Oklahoma, and my heart goes out. To all of those who might have either lost their lives and to the uh, families whom are having to suffer, that's just not a fun thing for anybody to go through. Okay, so now we got the sappy. Now we got the sappy stuff out of the way. Let's get on to the serious business. I know y'all are freaking out because of taxes, because because the, the IRS was uh, was targeting conservatives. Well, let me tell you something. I I, I I tell you right now, when I was when I was president, I knew for a fact the IRS was targeting everybody. In fact, the IRS does that. They target all kinds of people. They target people all the time. And how do I know that? It's because every year they, they send me a letter and they tell me that I owe them money. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. What, I didn't do nothing, and you're saying I owe you money. But apparently they do that to everybody. It's called your estimated income tax. And they do this to everybody. I'm just like, oh, my goodness. You know, they, they show you people. So, go, so hold on. For, the, for people who are not informed. Because I know that happens sometimes out there. If the IRS sends you a note saying, "Hey, you owe us some money," that's just that's normal. It's called taxes. You have to pay them for like your 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 emergency service vehicles and so on. Like fire fire departments run on taxes, and teachers apparently run on taxes too. I never found out what where all the tax money was going because you know that's just one. That's like a, that's like a wasp nest. You know, you just you get too close to that, and you're going to get stung or or hit or something. You know, and it just ain't going to be pretty. So that's why I never touched it when I was elected president. I also got to give a shout out. I, I mentioned I'm here in San Antonio, Texas. I got to give a shout out to my friend, my buddy Stephen, Stephen Colo D. New York. He is an up and coming MC artist, and also he is a Renaissance man, ladies and gentlemen. He because because he's because he's a DJ master. He's a DJ master, and he's also a barista. Works at the place where I just picked up this cup of coffee. Hold on, I'm gonna sip my cup of coffee. Hold on. Oh, that's darn good coffee, darn good house coffee or something. I don't even know what I got. Anyway, black, I drink my coffee black. I take, I take my coffee black like I take my constituency. <laughs> no, no, no. See, that's a, that's, a, that's a funny joke. Anyway, so I'm going to move to some of the major issues going on in our country right now. We got the Boy Scouts. You know, to hear about the Boy Scouts, they ended their ban on, on gay troop leaders, which I thought was kind of funny. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, I, I, what, what, what do they expect is going to come out of that? I mean, I can only speculate. I can only speculate so much about this kind of thing, but uh, but uh, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna. Oh, wait a minute, hold on a minute. I actually let me rephrase that. As it turns out, I made a mistake, America. Can, I can't believe this. I made a huge mistake just now. It turns out in the Boy Scouts, as it turns out, they don't, they still won't allow gay troop leaders, but they'll allow gay, uh, uh, uh boys to become into the gay, the to come into the Scouts. So you get have the Boy Scouts can let like everybody regardless of their sexuality. I don't get it. Anyway, let's move on. As it also turns out, Anthony Weiner, you remember that guy, right? Now, that, now, now, let me tell you something. I understand comedy. And a guy named Anthony Weiner, 
who's an ele- who's a public official go, g- gets all that attention because he's showing his wiener on the internet. And here's the thing. I understand comedy. You may not know that about me. I understand comedy really well. And here's the thing. He, well, he, he made a huge mistake. You can't just go, if when your last name's Wiener, you can't throw out your Wiener. Like, that's just not, that's too much comedy with too much serious. Come on, buddy. Come on, now. You got you to gotta, you gotta buck up and fly straight when you're in public administration. You all know that. I, even I know, hell, even I know that. I don't even know what I was doing, and I know that. You got to be joking. I'm going to tell you something. I'll give you a very direct example. I'll give you a direct example of what I'm saying right here. I'll give you a very direct one. I'll use myself because I ain't afraid. In the words of Chris Rock, I ain't never scared. I'll use myself here. Let's say let's say that because my last name is Bush, right? Well, what if I came out on TV when I started trying to become a politician or whatever? The, and what, let's say I came out and I showed my, uh, how do we put it, my, my oil well and all of the, uh, the, the surrounding roughage and what have you. People would have been like, there would have been headlines that said, Bush shows his Bush. And then my political career would be done because I'd be a joke. And even I, know how to, I, even I know how to interpret that. Wiener, Tony, Tony, listen to me here. You can't do that. It's just too much, man. Pull back a little bit. And you're trying to run for mayor? It ain't going to happen. Come on, buddy. Me, a me amigo, you are finito. Comprende. Put a, put a fork in it. It's done. Anyway, let's move on. So Anthony Wiener, he's running for mayor. I don't give a crap. No, he's not a part of my. He's, he's not a part of my my people, if you know what I mean. He ain't a part of my. He wasn't a part of my cabinet. You know, it's like, hey, if he ain't Dick Cheney, I don't got to pay attention to him. <laughs> anyway, so let's go on here. So apparently, you no, know, there's this thing about Obama. They're saying this IRS thing, or or something was going on with Obama, comparing it to Nixoni, Nixonian politics. I really don't know what that means. All all I know is that they keep throwing out the name Benghazi or something. They keep throwing out that name. I, I keep hearing. I keep hearing the name Benghazi, and I'm like, Who, where, "Where's Benghazi? I don't know where that is." Why don't somebody put somebody show me on the map? Is that somewhere? Is it in Africa? Benghazi sounds like sounds African, or maybe somewhere in the Middle East. I don't know. I, I just you, you're talking to the wrong guy here. But either way, all I know is it's like he apparently visited Benghazi or something, and then everybody said, "Hey, you can't do that," which which confuses me. I'm like, "Hey, you're a president, aren't you? You can go pretty much anywhere you need to in order to to to." Secure our national security. So if you need to go visit a hostile country like Benghazi, I mean, go ahead and do it. I mean, I, I mean, hey, I went to countries where I, I went to a country where a guy threw a shoe at me, and I was like, come on, but you're gonna throw a shoe at me? You know, I, you know, I could probably pick that thing up, and throw it right back at him, hundred miles an hour. Okay, to be fair, probably around like ninety miles an hour, but still, uh, uh, a ninety mile per hour throwing, a uh, uh, moving shoe is gonna hit you in the head. You're going, you're, you're gonna feel that. Let's put it that way. Anyway, so I don't mind, you know, Obama. I, I I don't I don't care for all of his politics, but he's a guy who's got a little bit of gumption, if you ask me. And if he wants to go to Benghazi to to talk to them terrorists or uh, or maybe it was maybe it's not them terrorists, maybe it's like European bankers are, are trying to cause problems. I don't know what. Anyway, that ain't that ain't here. That's neither here nor there, my friend. That's neither here nor there, America. Either way, I'm just saying, lay off the guy. Be, being being the guy in the blue suit and the red tie is it, it, not that easy. And I'm not talking about Superman here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, well, I might as well be Superman. I wish I had them powers. But here's something. Actually, you know, let's move on to something much more crucial. Angelina Jolie uh, had a breast reduction. Can you believe that? That woman had something going for her. She had a huge, she had, she had a full, full figure, big, big, beautiful lips, and she had a nice rack on her. Let, like, let's just be honest. She had some good titties. Like she, like she cut them, she cut them both back down in size. She reduced them in size. And I'm looking at her. I was like, "What? What the heck is that for?" She says, "Well, I'm trying to reduce the risk of breast cancer." And I'm like, "Oh, that's a serious thing." But here's the thing, though. She she looks like somebody who's eating right and exercising, and she probably takes care of herself. And also, she got a lot of money. I'm just like, "Holy crap, Angie! You could probably take care of it, even if it comes up there." I mean, worst co- worst for someone like you, you're probably going to go to the doctor. They say, "Well, we found a lump, but it's on your ass. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it." You know, if that happens, it happens. But for crying out loud, I'm like, well, you reduce the risk. I'm like, good Lord. Well, why don't you just, you know, figure out like your toxicity level or something? Because that's where that comes from, right? At least I hope I'm talking. I hope I'm not talking on my ass. I hope I know exactly what I'm saying. But I just hope this doesn't cause a fad. The man in me is all like, oh, no, I hope this doesn't start some weird Hollywood West Coast fad where it's like, you know, all the beautiful women are just going to start cutting off their, you know, their their voluptuous, uh, um, uh, 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 memories or whatever you want to call them. 
I just hope that doesn't happen. I mean, I want them to be healthy and all alive and all that. What if Pam Anderson did that? My goodness. You know, Pamela Anderson gets rid of her breast. It's like, all right, well, world, world's ending. You know, world's going world's gonna to end probably tomorrow. And then also, what else is going on in the news? Speaking of women on the screen here, we got Barbara Walters. She said she's going to retire from The View. Thank God. All right, let's move on here. Apparently, all kinds of weird things have been going on. And uh, apparently, are you all been playing? Y'all been paying attention to the playoffs? You know me. I'm a baseball kind of guy. I kind of wish I'd done that ever since I was young. Uh, I've been I've been watching the playoffs for the uh, you know for basketball. I noticed it looks like it's going to boil down to the San Antonio Spurs. Which oddly enough, I'm in San Antonio right now, so maybe I got I guess I got to be rooting for them. You got to root for the home team. That's what that's what Babe Ruth taught us, didn't he? So since I'm uh, since since I'm located at the the uh, since I'm located on the the home turf where that phrase becomes applicable, I'm going to go ahead and just root for the San Antonio Spurs, since it sounds like a cowboy-related cowboy, cowboy related paraphernalia anyway, so I'm going to have to root for that just by principle alone. But I heard they're going up against Miami. They're going up against the Heat, America, and the Heat's going to, the Heat is on, ladies and gentlemen. The Heat is on, and let me tell you, when a, when a, hot, when a hot fire uh, comes into contact with some metal spurs, the metal is going to get really hot, and it's going to become in, uh, incendiary and sizzling and all that, and it's going to it's gonna become difficult to touch, if you know what I mean. It's gonna, let me tell you, those spurs are going to melt if, they're not, if you're not careful. If, it's, if there's bad, poor craftsmanship, them spurs are going to get so hot, no, no horse ain't going to put them on their shoes or put them on their hoof, feet, things, and uh, it ain't going to work, if you know what I mean. So uh, we got we got to be careful about that. <laughs> so we got the heat, and we got the spurs, and we're going to see who's going to take out who. The prospect for the spurs don't look too good, but then again, they've been they started winning championships like 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 uh you know like a uh, like a uh, 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 oh what's her name uh, uh Betty Betty no what's her offer oh, fuck sake I was gonna make a joke I can't make it right now I'll have to wait until the name hits me again but anyway San Antonio Spurs they've been winning championships starting like ten years ago and then they just been, they just been popping them out like hotcakes they've been popping them out they've been popping them out like egos in a in a in a toaster which uh which which says a lot to me because I I eat egos at least twice a week. I love I love Ego waffles. Let me tell you something. And there ain't no product placement here. I'm just telling you, I love Ego waffles. They're just great and they're fun. But we got the heat going on against the Spurs. It'll be interesting to see who takes on who. Oh, and there's another thing I I heard about John Stewart. You know him. He's that funny Jewish guy. He's on the Daily Show. I was afraid to go on that show. I never I never went on there because I was afraid. Because I knew what they were going to do. They're going to tear me to pieces if I go in there. It's like jumping into a dog fighting ring. There's like five pit bulls just going at each other. They see a human coming in there. They're just like, oh, well, that's fresh meat for the game. And they're going to they're gonna delve into their canine instincts and take down the human, the lone human. And that's what's going to happen. If I go on the Daily Show, it ain't going to happen. But John, but anyway, back to the point here. John Stewart apparently is taking a break. John Stewart's taking a break from a show that he's, that he's pretty much famous for. And he's going to be directing some weird movie. It's probably some artsy farts of garbage. It's probably nothing like Transformers. It's probably nothing like Transformers. Probably nothing like uh, like that there Avengers, or that superhero movie. I was having a good time with that one. I was having a damn good time with that one. I put, anyway, he's directing some weird movie, and this is why I think he should be considered a traitor to his country because he asked his own correspondent that that limey, that limey Oliver something. He asked that limey comedian who's not even funny to come out and uh, and take over the show for him for like I don't know five months or something. I think it's like it's like something Oliver. I don't even know what his name is because he's not funny. You can't replace a good comedian with a lesser comedian and expect the show to have to retain the same quality. Ain't gonna happen. That would be like if that would be like if like if somebody shot me when I was when I was president and then Dick Cheney became president. It ain't gonna happen. Like it ain't gonna nobody's gonna like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I shouldn't make that kind of joke. Dick Cheney's kind of a scary guy. Actually he ain't that scary now because he's stuck in a wheelchair and he's turning into a machine. Not even the cool kind, like a Terminator or something. He's he's turning into like a like a life support machine. I, I don't get it. Anyway, I'm trying to think if there's anything important I need to come out and talk about, but I think I'm pretty much done as far as I know. And uh, be sure be sure to stay in school and stay informed. Pay attention to current events so that uh, so that American can can continue to be a strong, educated nation like we've always like we always have been. And uh, no one and just remember what GI Joe said if you're if you're afraid to do it. Or if you just don't want to do it, just remember what G.I. Joe said: "No one's half the battle," which is which is pretty straightforward if you ask me. Like knowledge is power, and no one's half the battle. So you've already won half the battle if you know what you're talking about. 
which is the reason why I came out here to begin with. MCW43 out.